Hello there, my name is Stephen Dickinson and I am a surveyor for London Flat Roofing. The picture you are now looking at is a roof that we are going to put a new covering over. We will only be covering the far end of this roof as where I am standing at the moment is the neighbouring property. You can see that uh, the ash there is asphalt, that's what I'm standing on, and as you move along you can see that it changes to a different covering. That different covering is because the asphalt has been covered with felt. Now although that looks pretty smooth, a couple of puddles on the right hand side, um, where the felt is right, laid in lines there are slight ridges on this roof and that does cause a little bit of problem with the way the insulation that we're going to use lays over the top but I'll point that out to you as we go along. This picture shows you the internally internal box cutter that we will have to remake. You're now looking the other way down the roof and you can see in the far distance the other roof that I was previously standing on. Um, you can also see the repairs on this particular roof that have been carried out in the past. That's the dark patch to, to the middle of the picture. Obviously it's been leaking there and someone has tried to put some kind of mastic or something over the top of it. This photo shows you uh, a problem which is an, in, was in another part of the roof and uh, you can see that uh, somebody's tried to do some repairs. The flashings here have been dressed in the felt and dressed up into the wall which isn't a good idea because these can move. Um, it's not the kind of practice that uh, should be undertaken for a long term good roof. And you'll see later how we've uh, changed these. Okay, in this photograph you can see the insulation that we've had to bring up using the scaffolding in the background. We've stored it all in the corner because of the fact that overnight that we don't want the wind to grab it and throw it off. Insulation is quite light um, and uh, it's quite a possibility that can happen. So you can see in this photograph that we've uh, covered it in a big tarpaulin that keeps the rain off of it to keep it dry for the following day. Also we've put all the heavy objects and the big rolls of the EPDM around the edges to keep the tarpaulin on it uh, for the evening. This is the following morning. We've had to wait for the roof to dry out before we could start work and once the roof was dry we've put adhesive down. You can just see this in the background sort of a yellowy colour and just in the foreground just where it um, laps past the new insulation bats just as we start to lay them down. The EPDM has been laid out here and the first part of the adhesive for the EPDM has been placed over the top of the insulation bats ready to um, lay out and position the EPDM. Now you can see in the foreground that the end of the insulation bats has got a timber finish to them. This is because the insulation bats can be well are soft and you need to have a good edge so that they don't break away. You can also just see the adhesive oozing out underneath the insulation bats. Now you can see that we've got the first roll of EPDM out and it's gone down quite well. We will be looking next at uh, moving across the insulation on top of this and the rest of the EPDM, you can, EPDM that you can see on the right hand side. This will enable us to put the rest of the insulation down on the right hand side of the roof and we'll be pretty organised from there on and things will be moving quite quickly. We'll, um, once we've got down the majority of this EPDM we can go around and make good order flashings to all the edges. Now the um, Insulation has been moved across and uh, we are preparing this side ready for laying this side for insulation and things from here on move quite quickly. Um, you can see I have taken a bit of height here from the scaffolding and looking down you can sort of see how we are starting to set this out. It is starting to take a bit of shape. You can see from this one that um, it really starts to take shape quite quickly and it is looking pretty good. The, uh, so far all this has been achieved in one day. The um, edges here are getting ready to be finished. 
Now we've reached a point where we decided to call it a day. It's getting late. It's around about three, four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, the roof is watertight using the new system, with the exception of the box gutter on the right hand side. But as we haven't disturbed that, any water that naturally runs off of our new roof into this box gutter um, won't go through to the building below because we've not disturbed this uh, area at all. So uh, until the following day and we can get going, this is how we're going to leave it for the evening. Well, we're getting close to the end of the job now. You can see there's a lot of dust on the roof at the moment. This is because we've been going around the edges cutting in flashings with an angle grinder. This has put dust everywhere. Uh, we've only got to finish off the front edge here where it meets the old roof and give a last sweep up and we're pretty much done. Thank you very much for having a look at this uh, video. If you have any questions please go to our website www londonflatroofing.co.uk My name is Stephen Dickinson and you can contact me on 0208 421 3193